Hello, this is Ahmed with another Excel lesson. In this lesson, we are going to discuss about some if formula in Excel. Let me to explain you how to use some if. Some if contain three sections. The first section ask you for the range second section for criteria and second section ask you for to obtain the range and uh, we uh, i solve uh, three uh, five pro five uh, five question in this video about some if or some ifs how much apple sold so I should use the range. Apple is the fruit name and I mentioned the apple name in the uh, product name of this table. So apple is the correct range of looking is this product name. And what is the criteria? You can select the uh, one cell to obtain the criteria but is not good you can type it apple if you change something in your table maybe you lost the formula and your answer going to be wrong so type it and what is the sum range the sum range is the total sale and that's it 9904 and if i use the table range I use sub total function 9 for sum and I use it for recheck my answer okay which apple okay go to next question how much apple sold in the east we have two formula over here the first one I told you is some if the second one is some ifs mm, the structure of formula are same but, uh, but please be careful about uh, how to use uh, your data in formula some ifs first ask you for some range this is my sum range and second you should uh, prepare your criteria range one apple sold in the east apple is product range apple is name of our product and the criteria is apple and criteria 2 east for location and I use east okay 1070 let me to check it apple in the east okay that's correct and the third question what is the third question how much apple sold in the south again some if some ifs first i should provide some range and after that criteria number one criteria number one related to my product name and my product name is an apple so I write apple in the formula and after that criteria number two it's related to my location location name I use it for the south be careful if you do not use double quotation in your when you want to import your uh, text uh, criteria Excel 
mm, is not accepted. Let me to clean it. Okay. And I face it with error. And if I add double quotation, Excel can understand what is what I wrote. So Apple in the South going back to our some ifs and what is the South? Six oh nine two six oh nine two. So next question is how much product sold in fifteen May of twenty twenty? This is the time filtration, so we can use uh, another uh, formula uh, add to sum if in order to uh, solve this question. So, first I should start with sum if. and select the range this is my range oh this is my range and what is the criteria criteria is the date the date is 15 of may so i write it 15 may 15 2020 and some range so over here, oh, zero, it's uh, because of uh, type of uh, date format. Let me to change it. And I forgot to add uh, the equal to the time filter. This is the 636, six. and if I'm going to filter, 15 of May I can find total sale in a sale so I clear the filter and go to uh, next question how much orange sold in South after January 2020 this is some ifs the first some ifs uh, let me to select the sum range this is the sum range and after that criteria one how much orange so the first question is about fruit I select product name and criteria is orange so uh, I'm going for second uh, section of this question in south so the location is the next question and criteria is south so I wrong right south and criteria 3 after January so I select the criteria again and use formula for after January the January 31 2020 and use double quotation for that and that's it if I use the filter for the on product after thirty one of January orange south. So I Going to filter south and filter orange. We can find the same total sale over here in the sum. 
for this question. I hope this lesson is useful for you. Please keep in touch with my LinkedIn, YouTube, or Instagram for further free lesson. Thank you for your attention.